So the story really begins around 6.45 when I woke up to go to the DMV to get my driver's license taken care of. But the story that we're concerned about is the story that starts about noon at Chipotle, as all good Class A ladies stories should start. So you want to tell us what's going on? Um, I have a few things I need to do today. Um, already went to the bank, took care of that, and uh, picked up my son from school. And... Um, Let's see what else we need to do. I need to have a baby. Wait, what? We need to do what? Have a baby? Have a baby. That sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. You sure you want to do that? Well, you know, might as well. Yeah, might as well get out of the way, right? Mm -hmm. The contractions aren't nearly close enough together, so we're at the museum to walk around and waste time because we need to do that. So they'll let us into the hospital. You ready to have a baby yet? Yeah, I'm getting there. Pretty soon. That right there is what my pelvis feels like. <laughs> well, that's good because the baby will just like shoot out <laughs> sideways and everything, like karate kicking its way out. I think it'd be fine if your pelvis is that big. <laughs> so, a baby who isn't here yet, if uh, if your mother had her way, that would be your name, biodiversity. <laughs> You don't know this yet, but we have this little game where she makes up a name and then I immediately veto it. So she just makes up crap. Like Phantasmagorical Jones. <laughs> yeah, so aren't you glad that I'm around? <laughs> Can't forget production. Funny story about that game, uh, Pixel Meadow was actually part of that game. We came up with that name while we were at the museum that day. Actually, we came up with Meadow Pixel, but then later switched it to Pixel, Pixel Meadow. So why haven't you had a baby yet? Um... Apparently the child takes after you and is very stubborn and complicated. And I think you're the stubborn one. You're the stubborn one. <laughs> it gets that trait from the mother, right? <laughs> it gets its um, impeccable sense of timing from me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Impeccable. Right. Okay. With the whole driver's license thing this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll take credit for that one. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so what's going on right now? So what's going on right now is the midwives have said... Your contractions aren't long or close enough together. And apparently that means that they want to strap me down to a bed with some monitors. I'm not being very coherent right now. You're not supposed to be. <laughs> but they also said, you can walk around our pretty little lake here by the hospital and wait until your contractions are longer and closer together and then you'll be in active labor and be able to be like, woohoo, I'm coming. So we're waiting and we're doing that. Okay. How long is that gonna take? I don't know. Are we there yet? Impeccable sense of timing, remember? Are we there yet? I have to pee. <laughs> Too late. I've already had to pee like 50 times today. <laughs> oh man, check out this sweet, beautiful lake with all its sweet beauty. That's all been hospital approved. So we're fairly certain that this little string of lights is supposed to indicate to the ducks that they're not supposed to get near the waste that's in the lake. It would appear that the ducks were pretty keen on getting babies too. But back to the story. So as Captain Picard say, we, we're just waiting for the baby to engage. So it's 10.15 now, and we're uh, still waiting for the baby. We're thinking, Jessica thinks Jessica is here. She thinks it's going to come. I think 11.57. That's my guess. 11.57 to 11.59. You can't give me a two-minute window. It's going to happen. All right. Well, because because clocks are different sometimes, we'll give you a two-minute window. I'll, okay. let, I'll let you break that rule. Okay. But it's a stinker baby. It's trying to make us think that it's going to be tomorrow, but it's going to be I think it's still going to be tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> well, you're probably going to be right. If I'm right... Well, okay, so my but my first prediction was February 1st. So So you're probably not right. Pretty, pretty far off. Yeah. But it's a girl. We know it's a girl. Well, because pretty it, sure it's a girl. Because there would be a penis or testicles that would not have been able to hide twice. There was, there, <laughs> twice. There was a giant foot in the way. The first time, and there so was two. Le there was two <laughs> legs and two legs in the way the la the, the first time. So. Um, girl. 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 Okay. Girl. I say girl too. I think it's gonna be a really girly girl. Really? Like a really totally oh, fun no, girly like girl. Total. And she's gonna come to my house, and I'm gonna have all these girly stuff for her. 
<laughs> yeah, with your two boys. Right. Yeah, that'll work. No, Elliot is a princess all the time. <laughs> he is. He's a Hilarious. princess all the time, yeah. We, of course, were both wrong. So the midwives broke her water around 11.30, but we're not exactly sure about that time. I did ask the nurses while we were at the hospital, but none of them could find the chart that told us exactly when they broke the water. But anyway, less than four contractions later, the baby was born completely. She came out pooping when the... <laughs> I'm, I'm not even joking. The midwife said, it's a, a poop instead of a girl or a boy. And there was poop everywhere. So that was fun. We decided to have the baby after all. Yeah. Seemed like a right time. About 11.38 in the morning. In the evening. Morning. It's morning. <laughs> Whatever. I'm too tired to care about that. It was like an hour ago. Yeah, it's quiet in here now. Everybody just left. She didn't very much enjoy her first bath, but hey, you gotta get one, right? Apparently I have the magic quieting baby touch, because that's what happened. And then later on the day, this is what she looked like. And of course, this is what she looks like now. <laughs>